Well, Singapore will always be vulnerable, but the collective spirit and unity of citizens is the country's defence strategy. Defence Minister Ng Eng Hen was speaking at the Total Defence Day commemoration at the National Museum today. Dr Ng said that the life stories of those who have been through war times serve as reminders of the heavy price to pay should Singapore's defences fail. Eileen Po with more. 72 years ago today, Singapore fell to the Japanese during the Second World War. Miss Mania was only 10 then, but horrors of the war are still vivid. Blood streaming. And then after that, everybody was screaming and shouting. Then somebody put my sister in my hand. Suddenly I realized that she has got frothing blood on the brain. It was a very shocking situation. Those experiences shaped his views on life, and later on, Mr. Mani became a volunteer against Indonesia's confrontasi. Defence Minister Ng Eng Hen said such experiences are reminders of the heavy price to pay if Singapore cannot defend itself. If we can tell our younger generation that, if we can convince them that in order to be secure, you must be strong, you must be united, you must have be a cohesive society, that is able to defend your way of life, then I think our children's generation will be secure. Dr. Ng said the media also plays sure an important you know role in helping Singaporeans remember the past. Some of you may have caught or will be catching the CNA's documentary called Days of Rage. It's a good documentary. It helps us to understand our past, the values and principles that shape our current nation. And there is a episode on confrontation to be aired this Sunday evening. I watched it, snippets of it. I recommend it to everyone. It's well worth watching. Dr. Ng also launched a book commemorating the 30th anniversary of total defence in Singapore.